Hi, this is a follow-up exercise from my previous tutorial on working out the number of terms in both expressions and equations. I've got 10 questions here for you to try. What I want you to do is just jot them down, put rings around what you think are the terms in both the expressions and the equations. Come back when you're ready and uh, we'll check your solutions with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, as I say, I'm assuming that you've watched my previous video and understand what terms are. Well, in this first expression, what we've got is the 5x is a term, the 2 is a term, the x is a term, and the 3 here is a term. So we've got four terms. In number two, we have an expression, and remember the division locks this all up as one term, so we've got the one term for that. In number three, for this expression, we've got one term here, two multiplied by the x minus one, and then we have our separator, the plus, and we have four divided by x, which is the second term. In number four, we now have an equation. We have two terms on the left-hand side of the equation, the 3x and the 5, but on the right-hand side of the equation, just one term. With number five, another equation. On the left-hand side, we've got 3 multiplied by x plus 5. That makes that one term. And then on the right-hand side, a similar thing to what we had on the left-hand side, one more term. Number six, we've got an equation here where we now have a total of four terms. We've got one term here, then we have our separator, the minus, and we've got the x as the second term. On the right hand side here, 3x is the third term, and the four there is the fourth term. Number seven, an equation again, where we've got one term here, the division, remember, wraps this all up as one term, equals on the right-hand side one other term. Eight, we're back to expressions again. The square root wraps up all of x plus two as one term. Then we've got our separators here, so we've got x as another term and the one as the final term. Now number nine, we have an equation and we've got something multiplied by something else. Because we've got that multiplication going on, we've got one term there. We've got our separator, the equal sign, and on the right hand side, we've got another term, the four. And finally, in number 10, the division acts as wrapping that all up as one term. And then we've got here two terms. We've got the two x, and then we've got the x plus one. Okay, so hope you've been able to uh, get those all right. If not, you've been able to see where you've gone wrong. Or if you're still stuck, don't forget to look on my website and you should be able to see the video above this that gives you a tutorial on terms in expressions and equations.